All right. Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to the adventures of Wild Fay, leading the Wild Hunt. It's been a couple of weeks since I made a video. I had to take last week off. Uh, we had a celebration to go to. So I'm going to try to get one out today and probably one out tomorrow. But right now, let's go ahead and get in there and get to it. <clears throat> now for those of you that are new to this, I'm just going to kind of go over what I usually do here again. One of the things I'm doing is I'm playing this character, Wild Fae, all the way through Star Trek Online. She is a Delta recruit, and one of the things I'm trying to do is capture all of the uh, character interactions, all of the voice work and all of the video work that they put into the game as I'm playing it. So. If, you know, if I, if I open one of these little chat menus like this and someone starts talking, I'll set list, listen to them and let them play it all the way out. I'm trying to capture everything as if it's a brand new playthrough, which you know, technically I suppose it is. <clears throat> now, when last we left our intrepid hero, we were going on the Empress Sela mission arrival, and we have to go to Agrama. Let's see, how far away is Agrama? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and get underway. Uh, when last we left off, we were here at Starbase 39 Sierra. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm not going to plot a course for the Agrama system. This is a bug sometimes in the auto navigation. It just randomly will not plot your course. Huh, I'm gonna know Nebula. And it disappeared. Well, I was going to go to the Unknown Nebula, but eh. <clears throat> when it does that, you have to manually take control, set a new course, and then usually it'll pick up and roll with it. As my friend Will would say, it's one of the many features in this game. Let's see. Just go ahead and minimize chat since I am recording. Don't need to talk to anybody in chat right now. Oh, let me think. What have I got here? The tape recorder, the Azura person. Home cold. My Tesseract. Oh, we've completed an entire story arc. 5,000 dild, 2.5 million energy credits. Nice. <clears throat> so, I guess, yeah, I'm no longer flat broke. I'm going to drop those in my account bank. Anytime I get more than a million credits, I drop it in the account bank. It's, it's how I save up money. Unfortunately for me, I've not saved up a whole lot of money. In fact, I blew about 8 million just the other day out of the 20 million I had saved up. So, that'll be nice. I'll put that back in there and help recoup some of that. <clears throat> I, have, I, I know I say this every time, but I've got to get some better engines. This Warp 5 stuff just ain't cutting it. Let's take a look at the ship while we're traveling along. Oh, I have an open weapon slot. I'm still using the default weapons that came with this ship when I got it. I haven't equipped any devices. and I really, really need to go back and re-gear it, but I'm not terribly worried about gearing at this stage. Oh, I won't worry about it too much until she gets up to... Level 65. Let's see. Traits. 
reputations, reputation. Huh. Tier zero. <laughs> Skills. Uh, ooh, I have one space point to spend. Ah, we've arrived at a grama. I'm going to turn. Begin in Priscilla. <clears throat> All right, Empress Sela. We've arrived in the Agrama system, Captain. Incoming hail. Well, uh, sure, why not? Greetings and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative. At this <coughs> notable. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. Hey, I bet you said that to everybody that comes to this mission. There has been too much conflict. You're right. Well, there's some stuff I could go scavenge. But I don't think I'm going to bother with it today. Uh, full impulse. Mm -hmm. Alright, transporter room one. Let's go. <laughs> Oh look, it's Sela. The rest of the are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. Productive conversations, yes. I'm sure we'll have those. Um, I'm certain it won't erupt into a firefight and explosions and... Oh, uh, no, I'm actually sure it will, but no. We'll try to be optimistic. Okay, let's make the rounds. Looks like I need to go around the room and talk to everybody. All right, Federation it diplomat. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Sokek. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. Romulan diplomat. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. Uh-huh, I doubt that. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. Yeah, I yeah. I that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will... Love how she spit those words you out. ...that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves <coughs> with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to talk to somebody else. Uh, so over there we had the good cop and the bad cop, apparently. 
We'll start with the Romulan diplomat this time. That you were able to attend our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government, the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted prime directive. <sighs> In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So mm -hmm. despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Uh huh. <sighs> so these guys all have an axe to grind. Especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. I'm reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. Uh, it's like the friend you say, the bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. I thought the Federation's <coughs> alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of the <coughs> dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. Uh, she may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here. Whoa. But we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. Yes, they must. Just like I must pursue something to drink. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Ah, I remember that time Darth Famine choked to death on YouTube? Yeah. <clears throat> Good times. <clears throat> Woo! Okay. I've talked to the diplomat, so... I apologize for the interruption. My name uh -huh. is Takai. Yes. I am one of the stewards here. Okay. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? Yeah, sure. If you've got some cough syrup, Toketh, I'll follow you anywhere. <clears throat> oh, damn. Again, my apologies. That's, uh... Mm, I don't know what happened. Da -da 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 Bullion shift. Nutritional requirements. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you really want to talk about? Uh huh. But I don't trust Franklin Drake. Diplomatic conference. No. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. Clearly, it's a trap. <clears throat> sorry. The lower level. I'm kidding. I'm not sorry. Limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. Mm -hmm. but that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. How convenient. The door is so, so while I distract like the guards, you sneak through the door. Fine. <clears throat> I'll sabotage a diplomatic conference that, you know, we came to in good faith. Just on the say-so of somebody here who says the Romulans did. I mean, it's not like I actually believe the Romulans came here in good faith. But, you know, stranger things have happened. I wonder what he's over there yelling. I probably don't actually want to know. The hatch is just ahead in the northeast corner of the room. There will be a security room near the exit of the maintenance tunnel on the level below us. Access one of the consoles there. Maybe you'll learn more about what she's doing. I need to get back to the reception before I'm missed. But I should be able to cover your absence for a few minutes. More than that, and you're on your own. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. There are no anomalies. This is just far too convenient. But you know what? <clears throat> we'll take it. I swear I thought that said in flirtation for a moment. Uh, clearly my mind is somewhere else today. Uh, 
All right, what do you think? I, I'm thinking we'll have a firefight in sometime in the next three minutes. That console should allow you to access security systems. I bet you could locate Sela and uncover her plans. <clears throat> sure, why not? Let's try it. <laughs> Sure, we'll just let any random Starfleet officer log into our console so it's cool. And read eyes only material for the Empress. I just, uh, you know, I'm having trouble believing it. Ships have acquired the Borg Sphere <clears throat> and towed it to the Pilates system. Pilates? Pilates? Yeah. Pilates. It's, you know, Windsor Pilates system. Gotcha. I anticipate your prompt acceptance of our proposal and the interesting prey. Huh. Tronjan. Bet he's a Rojan. <clears throat> Let's. Alright, we'll look at the security cameras. Yeah. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. He'll have to come through to my personal terminal, then leave me. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress. I have matters to attend to. Makes me think she needs, like, a shower and to take a leak or something. Okay, office camera. <clears throat> Computer, begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the star of the Hope system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. Failed. Computer and file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. Uh huh. Vulcan suffer. Yeah. Oh, clearly she's not watched the JJ verse films yet. Okay. Sure, let's tap into the uh, private communications of the Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Uh huh. I was disappointed in you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. Kittler did not go as planned. Oh, now they have powerful allies. Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. You disappoint me, Hakiv. I trust you will not do so again. You know, if you're the Emperor or the Empress, aren't your orders supposed supposed to be law. I mean, you told him to do something, he said no. Eh, kill him. <clears throat> we cannot allow Sela to use us. What weapons? I, I know she said she was loading them, but what weapons are we talking about here? Because I don't think anybody has discovered that. Destroy weapons. Okay, we'll destroy weapons. Here's that firefight. Has it been five minutes yet? Thaleron weapons, uh, huh. Well, fair. I guess we don't want to let somebody shoot Vulcan with a Thaleron weapon. That would be, well, bad if you were on Vulcan, I suppose. <clears throat> Probably be a great light show if you weren't. You know, that sounded like a board that yeah, that, that, listen. Huh. 
Uh, it's not going to do it again. That sound. Yeah, there it is again. Expect Locutus to come around the corner waving his uh, mortified arm at me any second now. Okay, we've placed bombs in the basement of a diplomatic conference. Surely this can't be bad. <laughs> On Thalaron weapons, no less. And... You should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. Uh huh. We cannot stop what has begun. Guards, capture the intruders. Giant old school communicator. Capture us? Why not just kill us? I, I would think. You know what? That's my problem. I think. Mm. Where are these guards at? I bet you I ran away from them. Oh, there they are. Let's call for some reinforcements. Ow. Um. Oh, look, yeah, we'll flank them. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go over here and heal up. Answer my communicator. I blew something up. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Yeah, yeah. No, no, let's not beam up yet. Okay, this is where we were a while ago. I always th think there's something else down here. And I'm always wrong. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Beam us up, Captain Lizard Guy. I'm sorry, that was specious of me. Yeah, he's a sorry. The satellites are emitting a dampening field. Of course they are. How about we just shoot it? Alright, alright. Let's go rescue people. I didn't know until just now you could control your course while doing that. That was pretty damn cool. I liked it. Alright. Let's go get this energy dampening satellite over here. Which one is this? Satellite Delta. Oh, we can already shoot Gamma. Blow it up. I 
You wouldn't believe Romulans can be treacherous. I thought we'd never be free of that blast. I never recommend you get a competition. Uh huh. Oh, I missed some loot back there. And we all know how much I love loot. Alright, blow that guy up. Let's fly back over here and get some loot. Loot that's guarded by... by the Daredex. No, we're not... Not yet. We're going to finish uh, this guy off before we try to talk. Yes, give me the loot. I only came over here for it. And, you know, okay, fine. I'll kill you too. Looks like I need to rearrange my HUD and move those. All right, fine. Now I'll talk to them. Hail Admiral Tanay. I have not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? Uh, you could say that. We're alive. I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Yep, yep. Alright. No, no, we're not going to warp out yet. Uh, yeah, I could go through here and loot stuff, but you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and warp to Vulcan. Well, the turning radius during that uh, digitize attack is really tight. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I uh -huh. come to personally command the defense. Aye, aye, the Admiral. Have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. Uh huh. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. Very well. Defend Vulcan science vessels. Too quiet. Yes, yes. Oh. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. I can't see you, but you don't shut up, so I can clearly hear you. Our detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. Alright, let's go get them. Alright, we're just gonna do the, uh... What crimes? I do love that attack. It's just, well, it's overpowered. Okay, let's go kill this warbird. Sela, you're spending your strength 
on the wrong battle. You know, honestly, with all of this uh, firepower you're throwing out here, you could have probably crushed this Romulan Republic. I mean, there's a lot of ships. Oh, heavy plasma torpedoes. Hmm. Probably should have shot at me. Defeat Romulan fleet, defeat Romulan vanguard. What's the Romulans going to do? They're going to take my 401k. And if you get that joke, then, well... Thank you. That made you smile? Great. If you're groaning in your chair and throwing popcorn at the screen, even better. Alright, I'm going to do this again. And now. That is just such a great attack. Uh, it, it's so overpowered, especially at these low levels. Yeah, I've seen some max level guys and uh, other characters use this same attack in uh, fleet operations and. It just crunches. It, it's just still great. Okay, you do that. Why am I not moving? Somehow my engines were off. Uh, probably that idiot captain pushed the wrong button. If I can drop a gravity well on this guy, come on, turn, 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 turn. Take them items. Take all them items. Ha <laughs> yeah, give me that loot. <clears throat> Alright. Ooh, 17 seconds. Voyager, Lama Pieta. I'm sure I just butchered that pronunciation too. Okay, I'm gonna come around and hit her with my super thing again. Oh. She ran away. Uh huh. You may have won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, <coughs> death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. <sighs> Vulcan didn't blow up your world. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet? ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction why did the vulcan science council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the federation your existence can be laid at the feet of the federation you are blinded by anger and grief yeah 
good acting though. She really sounded convincing. Uh huh. Scan the debris. Where is this debris? Ah, there it is. Object. <clears throat> Move, frigate. Hmm, Presidio class. One of my favorite ships. Borg energy signatures. Hmm. Alright. I think we're going to call that one a day. That was definitely not a diplomatic solution. I would say, uh, Command will not be happy when they hear about all of this. All right, Admiral Tanay. Uh -huh. The people of Vulcan Starfleet Command. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Deeply concerned. Yes, so am I. We have not seen the last of Sela. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We probably couldn't get that lucky. Uh... Yeah, take the gun. I have All right. I'm gonna go ahead and s actually, yeah, let's let's hear what she has to say. Oh, she doesn't talk in this one. Oh, the leaders of the Romulan Star Empire have been blinded by their ambition to regain power. Yes, they're definitely mad. Mm -hmm. The Tal Shiar. We're studying board technology. Oh, look, the Pilates system. Go there and blow something up. What will I receive? This is something I don't understand. And it's probably just an artifact because this mission is so old. My two choices of what I can get are are a blue set of engines 89 or 81.9 flight speed 11.5 flight speed plus 14 turn rate or purple engines that are arguably better all the way around yeah either way I have no missions for you I'm sure you do and on that note, we are going to call this a day and put it in the can. If you have any suggestions, questions, comments, let me know. I hope you enjoyed watching me fumble my way through this uh, little bit of diplomatic destruction. And uh, again, I apologize for coughing in your ear and you know trying to die. But, yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. We'll be back for another one later today.